Hey guys, welcome to Bonifab Custom. Today, we're gonna finish off our plasma cutter, give it a paint job. We're gonna modify the actual plasma gun. We're gonna uh, remotely activate the actual plasma torch, and then we're gonna give it a real test run. We're gonna cut some metal. So let's get right into it. To make this plasma cutter pentagraph combo work really well is remotely activating the torch. Now, Hypotherm does make a different style of torch, but I wanted to use this type of torch because I may use it manually at some point also. So I kind of hacked into it and I'm gonna show you how I remotely activated the torch itself by doing a little bit of wiring. Now, keep in mind, do this at your own risk. I'm no electronic specialist. I'm just here to show you what I did on my torch itself. So let's take a look. Let's take it apart and look at what wires I, um, I uh, used to activate the torch. So first I took apart the torch, realized that the switch had a blue, black and purple wire and the switch going back to the main housing was a blue, black, and purple wire. I took this apart and I spliced the wires, the blue, orange, and purple, and put my own wire, uh, orange and black wire, and soldered them together. You can see the little schematic I made. So basically, on the input side, or the part that goes into the plasma cutter itself, I took the blue and orange wire, spliced into them, and put my own orange wire on them. And then I spliced into the purple wire and put the black wire onto that. And those two wires are attached to my switch. Pretty simple. On the schematic, you can see the input, blue, orange, and purple. Basically, those wires still go to the torch, but the blue and orange connect together to one wire of the switch and the purple to the other wire of the switch. So now for the table part of our plasma cutter pantograph setup, I made a plate that's 18 by 18 and I positioned it in a way that the movement of the machine will get all that 18 inches travel out of my 18 inch travel on my plasma table. So I have it set up to the position I want. I'm going to make a couple of brackets and we'll tack it to the actual mount of the pantograph and then we'll weld it and see how that goes.
So it's all painted up, ready to work. There are a couple of modifications I made. I put this bar here to hold the cord up so the cord itself won't snag as it's moving for the plasma cutter. And the button itself I put underneath for now. Over time, I'll tell if, uh, if it works or not. I might have to move it to a different location. And I put those with a couple of zip ties underneath for now. I also painted the arms and I put a piece of puck board underneath on top of the uh, coffee plate itself. And this coffee plate actually, I don't know if I showed it in the beginning, but it will swing down. There's a little bar here that holds it in place so it can be tucked away into a corner somewhere uh, when you're not using it. So let's try this thing and see if it actually works. So the first thing I want to do, I placed my template down on the coffee table and I have my stylus. And what I'm going to do is after I put my plate on the actual plasma table, I'm going to take a look at the movement to make sure that first of all, I'm going to start off of the plasma table or off of the actual part. And then as I go around, I'm not wasting too much material. So I could move this over a little bit more to the edge, but I'll leave it here and I'll go all the way around, make sure that it's going to, it's going to cut the complete template, go around and then off. So, after I'm done this one, I'm actually going to trace it or you can see it on the plastic. It actually traces it on there and then I'll move it over and cut another one right next to it and we'll see how that goes. Thank you everyone for watching Bonifab Custom. I hope you enjoyed this pantograph plasma cutter that we built. Now it's complete and now we can do some work with it, build some knives, build some parts, and you'll see it throughout different series of our YouTube channel. So thank you, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you again.